is my house and there's my garage. I have the door all the way open. You can see my anti-federalist flag inside there. Shining brightly in my garage. It's a big one. And I raise the whole garage up. Everybody in that direction can see it. Reason being, in my mind, clear, clears up the signal, you know, and uh, what it's for also, it's like <laughs> when they show that convoy going by, one of them saw uh, my rebel flag and said, right on, you know, while they were driving by. Uh, I've seen the, um, yeah. There she blows. The reason why it's inside my garage instead of waving outside of my house because I don't want to tear it out from the damage and I don't want some fool getting their hands on it and uh, polluting it basically. Some mongrel, some worthless person uh, tearing it down, misunderstanding it. And uh, so tearing it down, misunderstanding it and uh, inviting someone to try to tear it down outside of my house? No. Why? I'll keep it inside where I can keep it safe and keep a better eye on it rather than some let some mongroid uh, get their hands on it, touch it, and defile it. <laughs> oh, don't I sound like a don't I sound like one of those guys? Anyway, uh, love you guys, and uh, you know. I got this flag up and everyone, you know, I got a lot of stuff I share and everyone's called me a racist and all that stuff, you know. Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but, you know, if I am a racist, I'm not hateful. I'm not out there trying to hurt other races. I'm, I'm not hating my race. I'm educating my own. I'm trying to love my own and be peaceful with the others as much as possible, but... It's not about hating other races, it's about loving your own, you know. If you don't love your own, what's the point of hating, hating the other races? The hate, is, the hate comes from, the hate is good whenever it's necessary in defense. That for We won't put up with anything, you know. Or we'll get to a certain point where we're not tolerant of certain practices. Well, I don't know where this rant's going. Um... All I know is that just because I got this flag up, it does not make me KKK, it doesn't make me Nazi, not no socialist, doesn't make me any of that stuff. But at the same time, I agree with a lot of those guys and not everything they say. The cool thing is, not being a member of one of those organizations, the thing I like the most and why I and I why I don't join them is for other reasons but one of the main reasons is I'm my own man I don't need a leader I don't I won't have nobody telling me how to live what I have to do how I have to treat my family I'm my own leader of my family you know that's what I like about being not a member of a clan or a member of a socialist organization plus the fact that they're already infiltrated and uh, a lot of them aren't educated in Kenite seeds, and I and I won't and I won't put up Kenite seed if I can identify one. I don't even want to be involved in an organization that half of them are Kenites anyway, because it's the sons of uh, Cain and the sons of uh, Seth that uh, join together, and they have that bond, and they're back to back. You know, the double-headed eagle. I don't want nothing to do with that, you know. Sorry, and I and but I love my National Socialist friends that that are intelligent, and all the other ones. And like I said, some a lot of things I do agree with them, but not a hundred percent. And I don't need nobody telling me what to do or how to live. See, I'm I'm my, I'm my own leader. I'm you know every man is their own man, and that's how it should be. If you want to be in a club or something, that's fine. But for me, I don't want to be in a club because I'm my own man. And I don't want, 
I don't want to follow someone else's rules, you know. I want to set my own rules. And I, I don't want, I don't, you know, I'm a grown man. I don't need another grown man telling me what to do. Unless I join the army or something like that in that kind of situation. Or it's a business for me. Other than that, no. You know, that's the part I don't like. It's these bunch of rules that you got, you know, and then you got to be told what to do by someone else. No thanks. But that, just because I have this flag up, it means something different to me than it does to other people. But it also, it's just rebellion against, like I said before, rebellion against uh, the thought process of society, really. And uh, it's just there. And we're going to be uh, keeping it up there. You know? I'm not going to put that thing down. Um, you know, and I have family ties to it. You know, I've had family that fought in these wars and died in them. And so it's a memorial also to remember. It's part of my heritage, you know. It's part of my heritage. Um, I'm proud of my heritage. I'm not proud of everything that uh, I don't I'm not proud of the slave owners and and owning slaves that's that I'm not proud of now I'm not gonna go on some white guilt shit either okay I'm not proud of that site but I disagree with slavery and I realized that there was a mistake they made if they were following the uh, Bible laws they would have known that you're not supposed to own a slave outside of your own race outside of your own race okay According to the Bible, you're only supposed to have servants and slaves that was in your own race. So we should never have invited uh, slaves into this country that weren't of our own race. Okay, that's true. And that's not even what the damn Civil War was about anyway. It wasn't about race. That's what they made it up about. And that's what they got more people to uh, invest their time and be sympathizers for it. But... That's not what it was about, and I'm not going to go into that part right now, because I already talked enough. Alright, I love Clark, and uh, I'm a loving racist.